Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwbiconcepts.com. In this tutorial, we will learn how to perform join and lookup using the query transform in SAP Business Objects Data Services. Apart from that, we will also learn to use some of the basic functions, inbuilt functions provided in SAP Business Objects Data Services. So let's get started. We go directly to the designer. Here is our designer. So first of all, we open our project. Next, we create a new batch job and name it job underscore employee stage. So today I'm going to deal with the employee table. Next, I want to create a data flow. So from the tool palette, data flow, click on data flow and drop it on the job workspace. So name it df underscore emp stage. Okay. Now double click to open the workspace of the data flow where we will design our data flow. So first of all, let us import the source tables. Now this is my data source, data store, which contains the connection information and credentials of my source database. And now I'm going to import the source tables. So uh, over the data store, right click and select import by name. The import by name gives you two options either to select a table or a database function or procedure in my case i'll use a table and the name of my source table is emp employee okay so we are able to import the source table also right click on the table import by name will directly take us to the table import so my second table is department table apart from that i'll also use one more table cell break which gives the grade based on the salary information of an employee import so all the tables have been imported next i'll select the emp table drag and drop it on the workspace of the data flow it will ask me whether i want this table as my source or a target so in this case i want to make it a source Similarly, for department table, I drag and drop it on the data flow workspace and make it as a source. Now, first of all, let's view the data in the employee table. This is my employee table, employee name, employee number, job, manager, hire date, salary, commission. Note that the commission fields are having null values and department. Now, let's see the data in the department table. It contains the department number corresponding department name and the location of the department now first of all we take a query transform click and drop it on the workspace and name it query underscore join now link the source to the uh, query transform similarly from the department source department table source to the query transform okay now double click on the query transform to edit the property so now i want my all the columns this is my input schema having the department and emp as my input schema so i want all the columns of the emp table so i click on employee number shift and select every column and right click map to output so this is my output schema all those columns which I want to view as my output are over in the schema out. Next, I want to take the department name in the output schema as well. So, this is how my output schema is created. Next, let's go to the from tab. Over here, what we see that the input schemas are EMP table and the department table. Now we need to define the join condition. We want the employee table to be the left table and the department table having a left outer join with the employee table based on the department number, their key field. So left table I'll select as EMP. Okay. 
left router join is the right table that is my department table now over here if we click on the smart editor we will define the join condition emp dot department number equal to department schema department number okay here we go we have successfully defined our join condition let's validate this transform no errors found okay so we go back and introduce another transform also from the transform this is the transforms of the local object library we can click from the transform drag and drop it over here and let's name it as query underscore lookup and join it with the previous query transform so now this transform will act as my input schema now double click on this query transform to edit property so we want all these columns as my output column so map to output next we will define a lookup so right click new function call i want to insert it below the department name and i want to use a lookup function lookup underscore ext click on next now it asks me for the lookup table so over here I'll select from my source data store the cell grade table as my lookup table. Next columns in my lookup table for the join condition. So I want the low salary to be less than or equal to from the input schema I will select the salary column drag right? and drop it over here. And my next join condition will be lookup condition will be high salary greater than or equal to from the smart editor click and select salary. So now we need to define the output of this lookup so as a result of the output I want as the grade column the name of the output column I want is as grade itself so we click on finish so let us validate this transform first okay no errors found apart from that I will introduce two more output columns and we will use some of the basic inbuilt functions provided in data services so new output column i want to insert below the grid and let's name it as income i want to have a column where i want to sum the salary and the commission of an employee so name it as income data type decimal seven scale two okay so how will i define it i will map it with salary summation commission now earlier we have noted that the commission field may be null so when a null field is joined sum up with a valid integer it will obviously return a null value so in that case we will convert this null to zero so nvl this is a inbuilt function in data services so nvl of commission comma zero let us try to validate Okay, we are good. Next, introduce one more output column, new output column, insert below and name it as load date and date time. Okay, and we will map it with sysdate, the inbuilt function, S Y S D A T E, sysdate. Let's try to validate. Okay, no errors found. Next, we will use a template table as my staging table of this schema. Select on the palette, click on template table, drag and drop over here. And I want to create it in my target database and name it as emp underscore stage. Okay. 
and we join it with the query transform. So when we double check, we find that the output schema of this query transform is what the table we are going to get in my database. So as we know for template table, it is a drop and recreate table. So now we are done with the mapping. So let's validate all no errors found. Now we want to execute this job. Right click, execute. Okay, we need to save all the job and the data flow, all the objects what we have imported and developed so far. So we will click save yes. And let's click OK to execute the job. So we check in the monitor. My source has got 14 before. The press says the job completed successfully. So let's get back and view the data in my target table. So this is my target department name. When we have done the left outer join on the department table to get the department name, this is the salary grade based on the salary information, and this is my income, which is the sum of the salary and commission, and this is my load date, the system date. Thanks for watching this video, and for more videos related to business subject data services, you can visit dwbiconcepts.com.